Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to make this B balance per gear assembly in Swordworks. So let's start. First I will go to the assembly mode. Okay, so this is assembly mode. Then we will go to design library. Then we will click on toolbox. Then move downwards and click on ISO. Click on power transmission. Click on gears. And then select state bevel gear. After that zoom out and increase this module to 3 and increase the number of gear on teeth to let's say how much it's 48 and 40 sorry I have to make it 48 so go here and number of teeth on pinion will be 22 now move downwards uh, pressure angle will remain same uh, the face width will be 25 uh, and next other parameters is 60 And this one is also 60. And in, in normal shop diameter, we will make it 20. And in key we will use square one. Okay and that's for this gear and click ok now before i import other part i need to make this part a correct place so that uh, when i will do the animation uh, i will not face an issue so what i can do right click on it and click on float okay after that select the front plane click on sketch Draw the sketch as I am showing. Press escape and exit the sketch, sketch view. Click on mates. Select this and this. And uh, basically I want to reverse. So just uh, uncheck this for a moment. Just in case if someone mates when try to do doesn't work like that. Simply right click on it and you will see option card float. Okay. Uh, this option will float only show if it is not moving okay so now let's go here click on rotate components let's rotate a bit click ok and go to the mates select this phase and this one make it concentric click ok after that select this phase and select the top plane click ok now what will happen that we can get only rotation animation it will not move up it will not move in x axis and other axis it will only going to rotate only along y axis that is the reason i have done this okay now we are going to go here and state bevel pinion now again make sure that the module is same that the so the module is three number of teeth will be on this gear is 22 Number of gear on my main gear is 48. So move downward, select 48. Uh, face width 25. Uh, 25 or 25, okay. And move downwards. And make this 60 again 60 and normal shop diameter increases value to 20 
क्लिक ऑन स्केर वन बिफोर आई मूव फॉरवर्ड नाउ आई नीड टू मेक दिस गियर मेड सो हाउ कैन आई अप्रोच दिस सो वट वी कैन डू इज क्लिक ऑन गियर एंड yeah and select on this paste tool right click on it and click on show similarly select this gear and again go here right click on it and click on show so what we are going to do it uh go to the mates select this point and this point make sure it's coincide and click okay after that what we are going to do is select this line and select the front plane click okay now we will go to the mechanical mates uh, before i do anything mechanical what we can do is i need to make something as you can see it's moving upward and downwards and it's not the uh, not the correct thing so let's see what we can do go to the mates select this line and this line now what we can do is make it perpendicular and click okay now if you see that it is not moving up and down it will only going to rotate and this is basically what i want now rotate the gear till you see that the teeth are matching correctly so i think this uh, this is a correct place now what we are going to do is go to the mates click on mechanical click on gear now select this gear and this gear we know that uh, teeth on this gear is 22 so double click on it and type 22 similarly select this and type 48 and click okay you see we are getting the correct uh, animation so let's hide these sketch because they look quite ugly there are two ways one you can click on here and it will hold it will hide all things or you can just simply right click on here and uh, for example right click on here and hide individual okay this uh, this you can also do this thing now what we can do we will need to import more gears so what we can do go here and import the spur gear as you can see it's quite small so go here and increase its module to 4 now it looks better better and increase the number of teeth to 20 okay looks great increase the space with 220 as well so you know 200 and let's say 30 okay well, let's make it 50 Uh, it looks fine to me. And go here and let's make the diameter to uh, normally sharp diameter to twenty. And move downwards in key way. Click on square one. And that's for all. And click OK. And close this. So what we are going to do is go to the assembly. Click on mate. Select this face and this face. click okay after that select this face and this face click okay select this face and this face click okay now we are going to import another gear so go here drag this per gear again uh, but increase the number of teeth so this time the number of teeth is uh, 50 and half style try to type b or type c i guess better yeah type c is better 
overall length 50 say 100 okay and just from here yeah. now now the main question how to make these square gear so in that case what we are going to use let's see first thing go on here and click on view temporary axis and go to the mate select this line and select the front plane click ok after that how can I you know made these two gears correctly so what we can do is uh, select this, sorry select this gear and right click on it uh, is this is a correct one or it let me check yeah this is a so right click on it and click on show similarly move downward and select the another gear right click and click on show so select this face press ctrl plus 8 for normal screen to the view okay is another thing that select this face first press ctrl plus 8 as you can see that this gear is not correctly aligned so what we are going to do is first select this mate select this face and this face make sure it is parallel remember it, it needs to be parallel ok click ok after that drag this gear outwards now we need to mate ok so what we can do is select this path uh, this line is called uh, circular pitch ok and this is a very important thing and click on tangent ok so you can see they are tangent, you know, tangent to each other and click ok uh, before I do anything let's just uh, make this gear correctly align ok after that what we are going to do is uh, we go to the mates go to the gear mate uh, mechanical gear select this uh, line and similarly in this case select this line and click ok and close this so if we, if I try to rotate this, sorry, let's size all these things. You can see I'm getting the correct animation or correct movement. Okay, but still it is not perfect. I need to move this correctly. So let's move this downward. Okay, why it is not moving downward? I think it's fixed somewhere. So select this gear and go to the mates. Let's see all the mates. So this is face oriented, correct. This face will be parallel to this one, also correct. Tangent. Uh, why it is not showing tangent? Okay, show. So in tangent mode, basically, uh, that is basically the problem of our mates. So basically, in tangent, uh, I said it it must be touched to it. Okay. So, but you know that we already made this here assembly, okay? So we don't need tangent anymore. So what we can do is right click on it and click on suppress. Then we can move it downward. Uh, let's go to the mate. select this face and select this face click on distance enter the value of uh, 8 mm as you can see these faces this and this gear are not touching to each other and that is basically what I want and click on this height so I hide all the necessary things so go here and the view uh, okay, the light is currently look quite ugly. So go to the motion study and right click properties. Uh, let's move this light.
click OK. Still, lights not perfect. So, properties. Click on ambient, click OK. Go to the model. Uh, let's decrease the ambient. So this point and click OK. Uh, let's give that some color or material basically. So go to the hair. Uh, appearances metal uh, let's give polystyrene uh, let's give to all gears Increase or decrease the ambient value as per requirement. Click OK. Move downwards. So this looks now great. Now what we can do is go here. Click on motor. Select this face. OK. And click on reverse direction. Enter the value of 100 RPM. Click OK. After that click on calculate. So you see we are getting the gear animation. But it looks quite sloppy. So what we can do. Go here. And increase the FPS to 30. Just you know, if you want to learn about SOLIDWORKS animation, how to do it correctly, check out my course link in description. You will learn a lot of things. I can assure you that. As you can see, this looks quite great. But it looks quite fast now. So let's go here. And in the gear, let's reduce this value to 30. Click OK. And click on calculate again. Uh, still fast so right click edit feature let's say 10 rpm click ok edit uh, so recalculate you can see now this looks a uh, little fine uh, one more thing that you see it looks quite uh, ugly that You see these two keyframes, simply click on it and delete. After that, make sure that we are on 0 seconds. So move this to 0. Right click, click on edit feature and decrease this value to 10. Basically, I have uh, applied multiple uh, uh, time speed. That is the reason that you will see, uh, you have watched that it will move fast and slower and slower. That's the reason, okay. So I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any kind of doubts and queries, feel free to ask. And if you guys to learn about SOLIDWORKS animation and motion analysis in very deep and depth analysis, that why is this, why is not that, what is the reason of doing this, check out my course link of SOLIDWORKS animation and motion analysis. Link in descriptions. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.